We're going to look at the front support now. Going on all fours, as always on all fours, make sure that your wrists do not hurt. So you can choose whether to have your hands on the mat, where the hands can sink a little bit through the mat and maybe strain your wrists, or please come just a little bit further forward like this. That's it. And some people are going to feel less pressure on the wrists like that. And some people might even prefer to put their hands all the way on the floor. So choose whatever works for you, that there is no pain in the wrists. Camilla, if you're comfortable on the mat, bring them back. That's it. And we're going to make sure that the spine is as neutral as you can. You don't want it to be around. You want the spine to be absolutely straight. In this position, we're going to stretch the right leg back. Hold it there. Notice that Camilla has flexed the foot and the toes are on the ground. The back of the right leg should be strong, a bit stronger here. That's it. Now she will stretch the other leg back and hold it. That's great. And let's hold it for a breath. The pelvis is neutral, stable as much as you can. The abdominals draw in to support and the legs are strong. If I push down on the legs, they will not bend. Camilla is holding them straight. And then bend your knees. That's it, both knees. And rest for a moment. Yeah, you can rest down just for a second. Now we're going to come back to the position and start moving the legs. So we're going to challenge the position, challenge the stability within the position. So we said neutral spine position. Let's allow the pelvis, Camilla, one second please, to tilt a little bit forward like that. That's it. So we're not tilting the pelvis back. In this position, draw the abdominals deep in and also push the upper body away from the ground. Don't let yourself sink down. Push the upper body away. That's nice. Stretch one leg back and the other leg back. That's great. And holding the position, Camilla will touch the right knee down and back. Left knee down and back. Stable pelvis down and back. Exhale down and back. That's great. Please do a few more. As you do that, keep pushing the upper body away from the ground without rounding the back. Keep it flat and push away from the ground. Keep stabilizing yourself. That's great. And please bring one knee down and the other knee down, both legs down, and rest for a moment. And before we finish this explanation, I would like to show you a couple of things that might happen and so you know what's going on. So let's do it again. And stretch your legs out for me when you're ready. Good. And one scenario is if the pelvis goes a little bit higher. That happens a lot. And then when you try to touch the ground, go ahead and bend the knee, you cannot really find the ground because your pelvis has lifted and you're too far away. If that's what happens, bring the pelvis a little bit down. On the other hand, you're okay? Yeah. If your pelvis drops towards the ground, you bend the knee and it's going to hit the ground very quickly. So you wouldn't have the room to bring the leg underneath you. Only when your pelvis is in that neutral position, in the beginning position, the knee will be able to come right under the hip and back. Knee right under the hip and back. Knee right under the hip and back, and that's it, and rest. I hope that makes sense. This is, thank you, this is the front support.